hey, let's go out and buy a piece of equipment. Why not? Hey beautiful people, welcome to truckertrack.com. We are going out today to buy a dozer. Uh, got a call the other day and the guy was wanting to sell it. It's got some issues, but we specialize in issues. Hey, let's take a really quick second. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell. Uh, we're gonna put out some more videos. We're a little slow, but we get them out there from time to time. Uh, you don't want us being on there every day. You, you just want, you know, it makes it more important when we pop up. So hey, let's go out here, let's check out this dozer. I, I think it's a D6C is what he told me on the phone. Uh, we know it's been on fire. Uh, not a bad fire, but it burned up some of the electrical stuff. But on older dozers, not really a big deal. Uh, they don't have a lot of electrical stuff. So, I mean, it's, it's not a problem. Uh, I'm gonna look at, uh, I don't want it if it has a pony motor. Uh, if it has solid sprockets on it where you've gotta cut them off of the torch and weld them on, I don't want that. Um, I'm going to look the undercarriage over, of course, the blade over, and just generally check it out. Try to pull the dipstick, you know, whatever's, you know, you can do a whole lot by just walking around, crawling on it, and checking it out. Now, I don't want to get snake bit, but I am going to check it out pretty good. I'm not going to crawl underneath of it. I can tell you that right now. But, well, we'll go out here. I got two checks, and you may say two checks, huh? Well, you always take two checks on a deal. Uh, you never know what's gonna happen. You may think the deal is done. You may see something else. You may write the checkout wrong. I mean, there's a hundred different reasons. Always take two checks. So hey, let's go for a little ride here, out and about with truckertrack.com and see what we can do about buying a dozer. All right, truckertrack.com family, we're here. We're in uh, a little uh, area outside of Owensboro, Kentucky. Uh, it's known, there's a couple big lakes here. And uh, you talk about a beautiful view. Just, uh, you know, get some of that. Just beautiful out here. It's about 85, 90 degrees, a little bit warm, but uh, just beautiful. Sun's out, it's uh, been raining here for a couple days, but talk about a better spot. You can't get a better spot than this. It's sitting on a piece of concrete for Pete's sake. So I was right, it's a D6C uh, U-Blade. Um, undercarriage is pretty good. It's got an old undercarriage on it though because that is the inner tractor symbol. So it's been on there for a long time. As you can tell, it has been on fire at one time. So it burned. It is a D6C. You know, D6C is going to have a lot of leaks and stuff. It's just part of it. It's an old dozer. I've already called Steve. I'm gonna get him on the phone. I'm gonna try to find the serial number tag, which I think I know where it is. It's right below the dash. And we're gonna take a look. It's been hot. She's been on fire a little bit. You know, it's kind of crazy to say this, but all these parts are available. I mean, there's nothing really here that that's bad. And for the kind of money this guy's asking, uh, I don't think it's gonna be a huge deal does come with a root rake let's climb up on this bad boy I don't know what it is about dozers there's always a, a soda pop drink or something laying on all the time so right there is the serial number serial number tags in good shape of course under the transmission always something underneath there that's your uh, blade control. And then of course your steering and, and speed, your clutch and everything. Uh, this thing does not have a pony motor. If it did, I wouldn't buy it, so we're good on that. It's just pretty much gonna be getting this sheet metal off, fixing a lot of things on the engine and hoping no water got down because there's nothing over top of the air filter, which it shouldn't. Uh, the, the muffler's worse. You know, If the muffler's off, then it's worse, but. Let's see what we got. I've already gotten dirty, people. Big party foul. 10K something. Got a 3306 in it. All right, let's get Steve on the phone. Let's hop down and talk to him on the phone, see what he says. You know, one thing we got to think about is getting this thing out of here. It's going to be a job. 
Uh, they, he does have another dozer that we're doing work on, but even with the dozer being dead, it's gonna be tough to get it up on the trailer. It's not gonna be a joke. It'd be tough. You gotta think the blade's down. We'd have to bleed it off, get the cylinders up. It's gonna cost some money. Nobody does anything for free these days. So anyway, all right, so I got Steve on the phone and uh, first thing I want to do is give Steve the serial number of the machine and he's going to check and see what your model is just to start. So you ready? Steve, the serial number is, survey says, it's a 10K. Hang on, I got to zoom in. I took a picture of it. 9369 maybe? It's a little rough to read. Okay. What, uh, what your model do you think that might be? I'll tell you. Awesome. I to grab my book real fast. Grab your book. Yeah. Caterpillar D6C. Caterpillar D6C. You know it's a little bigger than anything we bought before. Oh yeah. Yeah, we bought a five. We've bought a five, but okay. we've never bought a six. Yeah. There is no pony motor. No, uh, no this the, the big thing is once you go to a 10K, is it a high horse or low horse? That's what the bottom mark. Okay, the uh, 10K 9369 puts it in 1973. Great. I was born in 75. It's, old. it's a little older than me. Um, the undercarriage looks fairly decent, but the track adjusters are pulled back pretty far, so I'd say it's been short length. Do you know how many links are supposed to be? On this dozer? Okay. We'll count that here in a minute. It's got a 10 foot straight blade on it. Um, comes with a, a full size root rake. Uh, everything looks fairly good, but it has had a little engine fire underneath the hood. So the it's going to need like a starter and a you know the fuel priming system and stuff like that. The engine itself doesn't look hurt. It's going to need an air filter box and some stuff like that. It's going to need a seat. Um, it's going to need stuff like that. Right. So. Okay. It also has a wasp nest living in the blade. That's a bonus. I love that. So, a uh, little bit of a fire. I mean, it's nothing that if we took it to the Lamars and had them, you know, fix everything and paint it, I don't see it being a huge deal, but you'd have to paint the whole machine. So, right. the radiator looks good. The cooler looks good. Uh, all that kind of stuff looks good. It just, it just the hood itself and the sides where the, you know, the, the engine sides are a little toasty. So for the money, we're, we won't talk about money on video, but uh, for the money, what do you think? You know what the money is. What do I think? Yeah. I think it's pretty good. Okay. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go down there and beat him down a little. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I'm sorry. You know how I roll. Yeah. So, but, you know, you got to think, you know, it's it doesn't run right now. We're taking the gamble that it'll run again, and we got to get it loaded on the truck. Uh, which you'll have a D, another D6 here to help load it. So, uh, so we're definitely going to have to buy a seat. We're going to have to buy some under the hood stuff and have it and, and have it touched up and painted because you can't sell it like this. You know, if somebody sees that hood, they're going to be like, no way. So, All right. okay. All right. All right. Okay. So, what's your what's your thoughts? What's your verdict? I think we're okay. I mean, I'm looking at uh, the values here. Uh, what's you can tell me the values? What's the values of them? Well, for the 1973 back, now this was a, this book was a 2016 book, you know, I bet it's still pretty close. I mean, it was a, you know, loan value around 16000 uh, retail price was 21 Okay. If you put any money in it, definitely, you just gotta hope you don't catch your money pit. So. Yeah, no, nah, we're not gonna do that. We're, we're buying to resale, so, okay. But so. We have good prices. So we yeah, I do feel like we're your price. Okay. Yeah, well, it's a good, good one for it's a good machine for good price. You know, so. 
Okay. All right. You feel good. I'll uh, I'll make sure the root rate comes with it, and uh, I'll go up and, and uh, talk to him. All right. All right. I'll, talk, I'll call you later and let you know what's up. See you. Bye. All right, guys. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go up and talk to the guy. I'm gonna be cool. Uh, I'm gonna make him an offer. Hopefully his family's not sitting behind that bar and listening to me right now, but make him an offer. He's got to remember, we got to take all the risk. Is this thing going to start? Is it going to run one of these days? How many parts we're going to have to fix? What I exactly burn up on the machine? Uh, you know, the other thing we got to do is get it loaded and unloaded and to the place where it's going to get fixed. So let's run up there. I'm not going to film that because that's disrespectful, but I'll tell you what happened right after we get done. Hey guys, we got the deal done. So uh, I ended up bartering for the dozer. I've never done a barter in my life. And here's how that deal went down. So I go up there to the guy, and of course I'm not gonna film that, that's kind of disrespectful. He's an older guy, he doesn't really understand why I'm up there with a GoPro in his face. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't get it, I understand. So uh, went up there, talked to the guy. Uh, we started off talking money. I cut him down a little bit on the money. He kind of got a little, up, not upset, but you know, you know, moving around a lot on me. Just remember, I mean, I'm gonna buy the dozer, I'm gonna fix it up a little bit, and I'm gonna sell it. It's it's not a personal thing for me. It's not gonna be my dozer. I'm not gonna clear a farm with it or build a road or whatever, build a lake, whatever. It's just just buying it to resell it. So uh, we actually have his other D6C at Lamar's when we're doing a head job on it, which we've actually shot a little video on, and he wanted to trade out parts for the dozer and to be quite honest with you, after thinking about it and talking with him for a few minutes, uh, I told him it was great. So we went ahead and bartered for it. Now, I'll be honest with you, I, you know, in a deal like that, it doesn't hurt to say, hey, hang on a second, I got to think about this for a minute. And that's what I did. I actually stopped the deal and uh, uh, I kind of talked to him about other things, you know, just to kind of chew the fat there, slow things down a minute, thought about it, did some numbers in my head, and sure, it made sense. So we ended up bartering. Have I bartered before? Never. Never. Usually I just write a check and out the door I go and everybody's happy. So, hey, the deal is done. He's happy. Uh, we are going to pick the dozer up. Once we take his D6C back to him, we'll push that D6C up on the trailer, deliver it to Lamar's, and we're going to shoot some videos on that. I think it would be great to walk through the process on, hey, fixing up the D6C, putting it up for sale, and going from there. So, hey, you guys keep watching, keep liking, keep sharing. Uh, we'll put the D6C back up there. I appreciate everything you guys do. If you got my back, I definitely got yours.